Yo, what is up? How you doing, Jackson? Give me one second here and I'll get all my chats pulled up. We're ready to go. Blake, how you doing? Good to see your face. I mean, your your picture. <laughs> Got everything. Popped out. Yo, what's up, Trap? How we doing? All right. We've got all three chats ready to go. How you doing? Patrick, good to see ya. Look at the two people at the same time calling me handsome. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> Are you looking at me through the camera? Maybe. Maybe. You never know what kind of power I wield, Blake. You don't even know. Yo, what's up, Mark? Well, the build video's still loving yours? Dude, I, I'm so glad you're enjoying yours. Mark got one of the... Um, Black Friday specials last year. Pretty awesome. Very, very good deal on his build. Yo, what's up, OG? How you doing? I wonder, who put this monster build part list together? I did. I did. You help with the, the RAM part. That's the rest of it. Right here. Go check the VOD. All right. <coughs> the redneck tan. I'm working on it. I actually just went out on a walk in my tank top to try and try and uh, kill that farmer's tan just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Yo, what's up, Gloom? PC, PC. Just built my first PC. Gotta say, it was a challenge. And I'm new to PC gaming. Any tips? Um, focus. Uh, I mean, on um, if you're playing like FPS games and stuff, like a first-person shooter stuff, focus on higher frames per second and not having super high fidelity of your game because let's be honest it doesn't matter so much um wish i got a black friday special what can i say you got like a super special anyways uh jc don't you don't you put that on me don't you put that on me all right let's look at what we got today we've got 13900k this evga z790 dark kingpin we've got Four terabytes of storage, two of which come in this PCIe Gen 5 SSD. Um, if you if you read that number right there, that's 11,700 megabytes per second read speeds. Um, that's that's disgusting. That's so fast. Um, and then we've got an additional two terabyte Gen 4 SSD. Um, I don't remember exactly how fast this one goes. It's probably in the realm of like five or six thousand. It's still fast. Still really good. Uh, and then we've got this ooh, two times 24 gigabyte kit. These are um, CL48000 out of the box. And we're gonna have Trap tune the crap out of it to see if we can uh, get some nice lower timings or get it to, to go faster. So that'll be cool. We'll see how that does. Your stuff's still running like a champ? I mean, sounds good to me. It's been like two years now. Uh, looks like you're about to wield the power of a 4090 and 13900K, yes. So, in addition to all this stuff, that this is what's going in the motherboard. Um, we've got the RTX 4090 from MSI. We've got uh, a 360mm AIO from EK. Um, we've got 10 fans from Fantex, and they're really cool because there's a standard and there's a reverse. So, hey, Jess is back! She's loud! She's loud on Facebook! Um, these, these Fantex fans are really cool because they actually have a reversed version and a standard version. So all of them are gonna look like they're meant to be facing uh, the inside of the case. It's really, really cute. Cute? Sorry, I was thinking about my daughter talking over there. It's really, really cool. And it's gonna look really nice. <clears throat> my daughter's over there talking, playing. I think I heard her saying bro. Um, is Sparty in here watching his own PC being built? I don't know. I'll send him a quick I'll send him a quick message though and let him know that the build has started. Good idea though. Good idea, Mark.
Jess, how is it being back from Facebook jail? Okay, um, and then 1200 watt power supply, it's great. The other thing is this guy here. This thing is heavier than a lot of PCs with, you know, fully built. Um, this has not been built yet, and it is already ridiculously heavy. So, that's gonna be interesting. Oof, can't imagine how much, I can't imagine how much that's gonna weigh. <clears throat> Need to hop over on Facebook then? Yeah. Yeah, Jess is back! Uh, Sparty's gonna have to cut some corners on his barn build, having to drop 6k on a new PC. Nah, he just needs to get some more challenges in and then he'll be fine, right? Okay, let's get started. There you go, somebody tag Sparty in there too. Frames win games, that's right, Trap. Frames win games. More frames equals lower input latency. Also, this motherboard by itself weighs as much as the last computer I built, so that's kind of crazy. Right, which weighs up? That way. Okay. Ooh. Thomas, at four months of subscribing over on Kick, I appreciate you, Thomas. Don't know what this is from UBGA. Probably says don't drop it or break it. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. I should probably be recording this, huh? What do you guys think? That would be smart. This thing's so fancy! <clears throat> it's the back plate. Ooh, an accessory kit for the motherboard. Okay, okay. It's not the back plate, it was just paper. Oh, the back plate is what makes it weigh so much? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so here's the actual motherboard itself. Um, I'm running out of space already on my desk, because normally it doesn't take up this much space for a motherboard. And then what the heck is this? Electrostatic sensitive area. This is a base plate? Like, is this just for like setting the, the motherboard down on while you're building on it? Or does this go in between does this go in between the the motherboard and the case? The heck is a base plate? Installation quick guide. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get it built. Why did you get put in jail, Jess? Yeah, why did you get put in jail, huh? Huh? The nicest, most innocent person ever. Yo, what's up, Navy? Looking forward to this build. Me too, man. Okay, yeah. Got all that stuff in there. Blah, 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 me, me, blah. Yes, I know how to put things onto the motherboard. I want to know what the heck this extra thing is for the motherboard. Why do I need a back plate? Is it just for setting the PC on, like, the motherboard on? Like, if you're doing, like, a, like, a, like, its own test build? Oh, okay, okay, it is a test bench. Okay. Well, we don't need that. Um... Yeah, I might steal it from Sparty later on, but we don't need it. Okay, let's put all this stuff back. Wait, there's gotta be more stuff in here, right? Let's be smart about this. Let's make sure there's nothing else hiding in here. Nope, we're good, that's it. Very minimal. Usually there's like a million accessories and screws and random cables that come with motherboards these days. That's, uh, that's a little surprising, actually. Oh, wait, there's an accessory kit. Duh! You guys, I'm on it today, right? I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> Order is now for the low price of 6 Gs. <laughs> oh, trouble entered the chat. I mean, Navy. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh my god, it's so heavy. All right, let's see what's in this accessory kit. It's probably... Okay, okay. Feels good to be back. Uh, this tater does not need another PC. It won't make him any gooder. Well, you know. Don't tell him that. He'll stop buying him. Yo, what's up, Tobias? You here to see if this one's better than yours? All right, so these are all standoffs for that test bench. So we'll stick those down there. 
Um, UPC. These are random screws. Okay, okay, okay. More screws. Okay, okay. Ooh, this fancy EVGA USB flash drive. All right, so we've got. I'm guessing this goes for the probe IT cable. Okay, okay. Don't think we need a bunch of probes. Okay, this is our Wi-Fi adapter. I'm guessing. Yes, yes. This is SATA. We don't need that. More SATA. We don't need that. And this sick EVGA button thing. All right. All right, so don't think we need any of these cables. We're not doing a bunch of probes. And these might be for M.2s, but I don't think so. These would be for M.2s. I don't know what these are for, to be honest. Probably for the test bench. And then we'll include that. Okay, we are moving as fast as molasses on a cold winter day. Is this his gaming PC or streaming PC? This will be his gaming PC. Pretty much every PC I've built for him has been his gaming PC at the time of being built. I guess would be the best answer. Yo, what's up, Nicholas? That's pocket change for you. Right. Maybe he's a rich man. You love your EVGA 3070 Ti? It's because it's awesome. 7.5 Canadian. Ooh. EVGA has made incredible products, not to mention their warranty. Kind of sad they're not making GPUs anymore. I feel the same way. I feel the exact same way. I would always buy, um, I would buy EVGA GPUs whenever possible um, in the past, and I'm very sad to see them all go. Um, I'm very unceremoniously ripping off all of these peels. I'm so sorry, but I got a date tonight, and we got to get this done, okay? Got to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. All right. Ooh, that was nice. Okay. Well, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, we've got a new build build pad here. Um, I don't remember if it was a GPU or what that I bought off Newegg, and they're like, "Hey, it comes with this free mouse pad," and I was like, "Sick!" And it's black, so perfect. Okay, let's get our CPU in. Um, let's also see if we have any more of those LGA uh, thingies. Uh. Aha! Got that. I know they didn't, yeah, they stopped making... After the 30 series was done, they they are officially done making, uh, making GPUs. So sad. Is this the right size? Boom, that is the right size. Okay, so we're gonna take this uh, socket, whatever thing off, and we're gonna replace it with this contact frame. It's immensely better. Uh, it's made of milled aluminum rather than sheet metal, so you don't have to worry about it losing its tension over time. You'll keep a nice, steady, even compression on the CPU for the entire life of the product. That's the point. That's the point of this. That's what we're doing it for. Okay. Is it possible to still find EVGA 3080Ti's? Eh, it's possible. It's hard to find. I mean, it's hard to find 3080Ti's in general. A lot of, like, the 30 series stuff, I'm sure, is not being built anymore, so... Probably tough to find. Dang, Sparty's already upgrading? He is indeed. He is indeed. So he's going from a 5800X 3D with super tuned uh, DDR4 RAM to this. Um, it's gonna make a huge difference, we hope. Uh, this is definitely like the best of the best right now. So, I really hope that he is very happy with the build. What's up, Titus? How you doing? Hey, thank you so much for 100 stars. Are you installing the hacks or is he gonna do it? Um, banned. Just kidding. Um, what? Hacks? I don't. I don't know what you mean. I thought he just uses the Cronus. Oh, am I not allowed to say that on live television? Okay. He's 
get another one. Dang! I know, right? If only we were all so blessed. Oh, this too short. Oh, the backplate fall back there. Wait a minute. Backplate fell off the back there. Which is cool. It's cool. Those holes lined up a little better. There we go. Okay. That hole lined up somewhere. There, there it is. We we did it. Uh, what's the ballpark price range for something of this magnitude? Um, if you're not special like Sparty, uh, it's a little over 6,000. That's built, shipped, taxes, everything um, within the US. All right. Behold. Okay, so there's that. Uh, now we gotta find our M.2 slots. I'm guessing they're all under here. Yeah, I don't see any other spots for them. Shouldn't be on the back. Yeah, I'm hoping that the main M.2 slot is right here. The heck is that? Ooh, it's just a nice little rubber piece. Just a little rubber piece. Okay. All right, we can put this away. We don't need it anymore. Now we can use our Linus Tech Tip screwdriver. At least we know he will be available online to watch once he has this one. What do you mean? You mean available online? What the heck? What are those screws? Do I need to use a flathead or something? Those are disgusting. Whoa, it's not even a screw, it's a... I don't know what to call that. Um, just hopped in. Is this a gaming PC or a stream PC? This is a gaming PC. Uh, what did Wes say? Um, Tree Fitty. Yeah, you wish. Best PC builder on the planet? Oh, sheesh. Nothing sexier than those rotated RAM slots. All right, and the, and the CPU as well. Um, blah, 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 blah. do expensive builds take more time or less time for you to build? Typically more. Like, not a ton, but enough. Oh, so one side is a screw and one side is not. That's interesting. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I would say, so like a cheaper build, um, like say Jackson, your build, for instance, that was around 1700 bucks. I think I built that in a little over an hour. Maybe an hour and 20 minutes. Yo, Kevin, thank you so much for the, the host. All right, there we go. Um, JCM1. Hopefully that is my main M.2. I think it, I think we just have these three M.2 slots. All right. So we want one of these uber fast PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. How was the stream? What about 8K? Strictly for 4K porn. Oh my god. Uh, is the 13900K better than the 7800X 3D? Uh, they're very similar. I I think with this build, the 13900K will beat out the, the 7800X 3D. Okay, what the heck? Oh, I had it backwards. Okay. There's the first one. And then we need these little M.2 screws here. Yay, nay. There's three of these, there's three of those slots. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, does it create 1.2 gigawatts he needs to make time travel possible? It does, it does. Yo, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for coming in with that raid with Mr. Beeringer. I want that Red Egg Engineer PC on the stream. Yes, sir. Okay, let's get this guy installed. Oh, I think I needed to... I think I need to like put this in and then back that out. I think this is actually like 
This is a two part. Yeah, 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 okay. So I need to put this whole thing in first. Come back out. It's okay, little guy. Ugh. Okay. Set that down gently. So the standoff actually needs to get installed first. Oh my god, please stop falling. Oh, it's titanium. Okay. You know how I know that? One, it's kind of warm to the touch, even on first contact. And two, uh, the magnet didn't work. Or it could be aluminum, but I really doubt that they would use aluminum. Okay. First one's in. What up, Red? Is this built for Sparty? It sure is, Richard. It sure is. We all need a Kyle in our lives? Bro, I want a Kyle in my life. Kyle, come come to my stream. Robert, thank you so... Oh, that's that's Navy. Thank you so much for the 100 stars, dude. Hey, Richard, thank you so much, dude. That's four months of subbing now. You crazy man. Appreciate it. Here's your down payment. All right, bet. I'll hold it for you. <clears throat> Do you feel like you learn something new on every build? 100%. Uh, what's this build cost? Around $6,000. A little, little more. Um, yeah. Tease expensive. Gotta run. No, Kevin, no. You can't go. We just started. I have 12900K, but... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I've been wanting to upgrade the GPU. You have an EVGA 850 watt. Um, yeah, you can go up to like, technically you could go up to a 4080. Oh, hi puppy. What are you doing in here? You could probably get, you could get away with a 4080 for sure. Um, I would probably suggest like a 4070 Ti to be safe, but um, the 40 series does not have the same sort of like um, power surge issues that the 30 series had, so you should be fine with it. I am Doot coming in with a sub! Why is my phone going crazy? Hold on. Alright, cool. We all do need a, a Kyle in our life. Sparty's on that one year pro- run a year program, right? Brett, how you doing? More, more, more importantly, come play later. Me? Me come play later? I can't play tonight. Your boy's got a hot date. Technically a double date. We're going out with some friends, but yeah, either way, I got a date tonight, so there will be no gaming this evening. Unfortunately, or fortunately for my wife. Um... <clears throat> Wasn't his last build an AMD build? It was. He's not like, he's not necessarily like tied to one or the other though. He just, he messages me and he goes, I need a new build soon. And you know, you know what I need, best of the best. End of story, hangs at the phone. Puts the flip phone down if he was Dr. Disrespect, you know? Like that's, that's all it takes. And then I come back and I say, all right, here's what I came up with. Let's talk about it. And then we, you know, we make some changes and then, then we're done. That's it. Yeah, so he did have a 5800X 3D before. We think that we can get more out of this build with the, the newest RAM um, upgrades. And so we're gonna... Yeah, we're going with the 13900K. I mean, you can't go wrong with the 13900K. The, the similarities in like terms of performance with the 7800X 3D, it's probably pretty pretty comparable. from everything I've seen. <clears throat> How many camera angles, angles you got now? Two. So we've got front. We can do my eyes, cowboy. And then we've got down. And then we've got mixtures of the two. That's it. Um, both of which are mirrorless Sony A6000 cameras. I honestly... Someone was selling a Sony a6000 recently, and I was like, ooh, you know how nice it would be to have three cameras? Um, but I really just don't need to spend the money on it, so I did not do it. Okay. There we go. That is back in place. We're gonna have to take this back off. We'll put this back on. Stick those guys into their schlotch. 
What you doing down there, puppy dog? Huh? What you doing, bud? Why are you hanging out in my hot office? Um, similar performance, but none of the weird AMD stuff. Well, there's that. AMD, it, AM5 can be a bit of a hassle. Alright, let's get all these guys started. Uh, what are the other specs for this? Uh, oh yeah, you can't see those on kick. So, 13900K, uh, 4090, we've got this, uh, Kingpin motherboard, um, which is a two-dim motherboard, which allows us to make the RAM go above 7600, according to Trap. Um, and then... We've got four terabytes of storage. Two of the one terabytes are crucial T700s, which are Gen 5 SSDs. They can push 11,700 read speeds, 11,700 megabytes per second. Um, got a 1200 watt power supply, EKAIO, thermal take 1200 watt power. Uh, I, I'm messing up words, but whatever. Thermal take 1200 watt power supply. Um, we've got a bunch of Fantex D30 fans, and then we've got the Fantex NV7 case, which is a real sexy. Okay. All right, those are all tightened back down. Put this guy back. Oh, that was not the right one. This goes here. This goes here. Okay. That's all in there. Let's get our RAM in. Uh, puppy is hiding from the fly swatter. Oh, <laughs> puppy, are you hiding from the fly swatter? Yeah, a little stressed out. He's terrified of the fly swatter for whatever reason. There's no reason for him to be terrified of it. We've never done anything to him with it. So your guess is as good as mine and why he doesn't like it, but who knows? Okay, there we go. I'm guessing these are gonna go this way. Yep, I think they go this way. Come on. Uh, Red, I am a buzzing coming from my liquid cooler and I'm going to diagnose this weekend. You have a buzzing coming from your liquid cooler. Um. Do you know if it's coming from like the pump area itself or from one of the uh, fans? All right, RAM is in. This is awesome. This is brand new RAM that's like just recently come out. Two times 24 gigs, CL48000. It's nuts, absolutely disgusting. Okay, our motherboard is assembled. Um, let's check. I think we can is do some pre-assembly work uh, for our AIO before we put the motherboard anywhere. Uh, in fairness, he was dying the whole time. That sounds like me playing Vondel. Uh, do you think the Fantex fans are any better than Lee and the SL120s? I think they're cooler. I don't know if they're any better. Um, the reason why I think they're cooler is they have a standard and a reversed version. So you, if you plan out your your case and everything, you can make it so that all of your fans, like you don't see the like quote unquote ugly side, the quote unquote ugly side of the fan. You only see like the, the nice side of it. So you don't look at the frame of the fan. Um, that's why I think they're cooler. Now I haven't used them before, so we're kind of going out on a limb. Fantex makes good stuff. So kind of going out on a limb that they're really good quality, but based on the price and everything, I would assume that they are good quality. All right, I don't need this. Because I just built with one of these like two days ago. So if I needed that, it would be a little sad. Okay, don't even need anything else out of here. I just need this. Close this back up for later. I'll need you later, okay? You're okay, puppy. I'm sure she's done with the fly swatter ranger. I'm sure she's done with it by now. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Dr. Beamer? Red on the red, what's up? Best AIO on the market, period. I would have to agree with you, man. I have to agree with you. It's not a fan. I replaced the one in that area and the sound went away for a bit, but came back 
and under heavy load like playing cod oh your uh your whatever it's called might be going out your pump might be having issues okay so we need the back plate for this one of these is the lga 1700 back plate um don't remember which one it is one of these two and we'll need this for the front this is amd all right survey says Survey says it's not that one i think it's this one yep those all line up we're good question is, do these actually stick through these holes at all? Kind of seem like they don't. Interesting. Interesting. So these are supposed to be the LGA 1700 ones. This. <clears throat> uh, it's not a fan. Potentially what is happening. I went in and adjusted the speeds of the pump and such. That is how I was able to diagnose the problem. Yeah, we just went through that with Richard's uh, PC not too long ago. Uh, do you think the Fantex fans... Uh, I'll take that label. In fairness... Hashtag best mod. All the bots. Shh, ASMR. Yes, my puppy is on the floor down there. Yo, what's up, Rytek? How you doing, dude? Trying to get these guys all started. Okay, then this is actually a wrench. You didn't know. So we'll uh, tighten those all down. Okay. Okay. It's good to go. That. This, okay. So we don't need this. We definitely need that. Okay, this only goes this other direction, but I can't get it to fit back in the box. Go back, there we go. Copy that. Will you dang Canadian stop sending down the smoke from your wildfires? <laughs> Boom, got him. Alright, so I need those for the fans. I need these for tightening down the AIO. Everything else can stay in there. Shouldn't need these. I don't think we're two stacking fans or anything, so should be good to go now. Alright. Put that back. That. <clears throat> and away it goes. Okay. I don't need this up here either. All right, let's uh, let's get our case out here, huh? <sighs> Gotta stretch the back out for this one. Ugh, this case is heavy, man. That's one of your legs. <sighs> okay, okay, there it is. I also didn't realize until now that it's a reverse. It's a reverse design, isn't it? Oh no, no, no this is the front. Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> this is super heavy. <clears throat> oh god. Oh god. Whew. Okay. Hey, Dr. Fumbles, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um <clears throat> hello. I can't even leave my state, let alone the country. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Heinrich? How you doing? Okay, let me figure out how to take all these friggin' panels off. They all appear to have no fasteners visible. Which is awesome, except, like, I don't know how to take it off. Okay. This kind of seems like it could come off first. Ooh, so fancy! I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. But this whole back panel just kind of swings open. Okay. All right. Got the manual out. Um, pull this side panel off. 
Canadians were jealous of this, so they're trying to sabotage us with their wildfire smoke. 100%. Okay, we got those off. No, is that not at all? Anything in the front? All right, I guess we'll take the top panel off first. My God, this thing is so tall. We're gonna we're gonna lower this down for you guys, not for me. Yo, what's up, Brian? Is this Smart's second or third for you? This is his third PC. Got that off. Cool. First panel removed. Oh, I wonder if this just slides back. Oh, there it is. We did it. We're so smart, you guys. We don't need instructions. Ooh, we also don't need spit everywhere. That'd be good. Um, this guy just lift up. Oh, okay. There's a <clears throat> there's a bolt here. You just lift up. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Got some panels removed. We're gonna put this guy back. Otherwise, we will not remember where it came from. Probably. And that panel sure can be removed as well. Don't know how. All right. So stuff on top. Oh, wait. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So, instead of putting the motherboard in first, we're gonna put in a bunch of our fans first. Leatherneck with the host! What's up, dude? Thank you so much! Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. We got this guy out. And we're gonna put a bunch of fans on it. So, let's take this down for a second. So this guy went into there like so. So this is looking towards me now. Is facing, oops, facing the interior of the case. Which means we want the reversed fans. We should have mostly reversed and one set of regular. Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. So we want these reversed fans here. So. Basically, the way they have these designed is the reverse fans, airflow comes this way, towards the, the camera, and yeah, the other ones are set the other direction, so pretty cool. Let's take the plastic off. Why not? Signal input corner. Okay. I have no idea how these work, you guys. I'm just, we're just freeballing it right now, for lack of a better term. Let me put this back up to normal height. Okay, so it's gonna go somewhere over there. We're gonna get another one. Uh, I would like to propose a trade the US keeps JB and Nickelback. Canada sends one more person of your choice, but you have to take me. Fair. Seems like a fair trade to me. Don't do that. <clears throat> What's up, Leather? How you doing? So I'm just going to assume that Sparty is going to use his last build as a stream PC in this one for gaming. I think he's going to keep his last PC as a backup in case something happens to this one or something happens to his stream PC. I think. All right, so there's those guys. Uh, we need one more because the, the side of this thing actually holds four fans. So dang pretty. How'd you get hooked up with Sparty, by the way? Uh, Gloom Warrior, back in the day, helped me, helped vouch for me for his first build, and I've been building for him ever since. Uh, a little impressionism piece? Doing a painting real quick. Nice. Okay. So these all probably need to go on this side. Since that's the side that the cables are going to need to go to eventually. Let's go like that. Um, let's see what we've got in here for accessories. Shouldn't need this either. 
Well, we might need something from that. Man, the only thing that I think they could have done better was if these actually physically tied together, but I'm okay with I'm okay with it as is. Okay, okay, okay. I don't understand any of this yet. I don't understand any of this yet. Oh my god, why is there so much stuff? Okay, so these are radiator bolts, so I shouldn't need those. These are cover plates or something? These like snap and hold these together. Nice, cool. Like that, I like that. Oh my God, there's so many pieces to this. Look at this, this is ridiculous. Super hits expensive Lego set. Bro, you have no Ooh, these are so cool! Okay, okay, okay. Contactor signal input. Um so input means that's coming from the motherboard. So we're gonna do this. I don't think this should matter. This should just be a pass-through. It looks identical either way. That is dude, this is amazing. This is freaking amazing, you guys. Come on. Okay. Got that. What are all these extra plastic pieces? So, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done the contact or input on the top, but that's where that's going to go. Um, okay, this goes here. There's so much plastic on Needed a break from photography research. You have to do photography research? What kind of research do you do for photography? All right, now I need more of these in-between connector pieces. Do I have more than that? No? Okay, so I'll, I'll have one in here, probably. I assume this is the first time you've worked with those fans. Yes, very much so. How did you know? All right, so I just need these guys, this, these fans are awesome though, definitely more work to put together than your average fan, but it's okay, alright, we need another connector here, so we don't have one of those, we need this guy, That's all connected. Oh, wait, 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 okay. I don't need to bolt through. I thought I had to take all these off because I had to bolt through, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, what is this for? I assume this is just like a cover piece for this. Read that direction. Okay. Cool, it's cool. Oh my god. Why? Why do I need all these pieces? Does this really make it look better? Does it? Probably does. What's up, Charlie? I haven't done any real shoots in weekends. In weeks. We've done a- we have a ton of rain. Sure, but our AQJ is bad right now. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay, so that clearly is not fitting. Unless I do it, need to do it this way. There we go, okay. Right place, wrong, wrong sequence, okay. Come on. Okay, those are in. This is gonna be pretty solid once it's uh, all said and done. Yep, I need this one right here. Come on. Okay. And then I need the corner one for this guy. And that should be it, because I can't cover up the other one, because that's where the connector goes. Connector's gonna go here. Signal, input, corner. This guy is gonna go on this input corner. 
this. Boom! That's pretty that's pretty slick. Alright. Okay, so we don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. Grid those. Grid those. Do need those. We shouldn't need any of the rest of these. I think we're covered. On all the rest of that. Don't need that either. Okay. Don't need that either. DZ Fumbles, what's up? Four fans, you're crazy, man. But I like you. You're crazy! Sorry. 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 Uh, different photo shoots, poses, what I can do better to up your game. Gotcha. Makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. All that is done. Um, I think I can just throw this in here as well. Hopefully that all fits. And we'll need one of these. That should be it. Okay. Cool. We'll leave this out in case I need it later, but I think we're good with that. All right. So, now we flip this over. Obviously, it doesn't work like it should, but that's okay. We're going to start bolting these fans in. We probably could get away with fewer bolts since things are already clipped together, but we're not going to... We're not cutting corners here. A little more work to assemble, but to but cable system simplicity is similar to the yes, the simplicity of the, the cables is very similar to Lee and Lee. Although these don't actually need their own controller for better or worse, they use the uh, motherboard controls for RGB uh, and everything. So you don't need a separate, you don't need to have any sort of software to run these. So I guess depending on how you view that, uh, that's a could be a positive or a negative. Ow, oh, that is a sharp corner. Okay, be gotta be careful with that. Okay. I have at least two planned, one hopefully Sunday, and one whenever my godchild decides to make his appearance. Gotcha. Hey, what's up, Floss God? How you doing? It's good to see you. I need something done for free 99. Um, I've got a spare fan here with your name on it, right? Not one of these fans, a different fan. Like, you can have your choice, white or black, free 99. You let me know. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, this case is designed to hold four 120 millimeter fans. Isn't that crazy? Uh, this is, no, no, it's not an AIO. This is just the case fans. The AIO is a 360. Um, but from what I can tell, the, uh, this AIO from EK is better than even the 420 millimeter ones that you can get on the market today. I will be his fan for $3.99. Ooh. Pay up, Heinrich. Pay up. I need it. All right, I think we've got enough of these installed. We can actually start tightening these all the way down. It's a lot of screwing. Yeah, this is just, these are just case fans. Um, the EK AIO will go on the top. This is gonna be on the side. That's what she said, oh! Uh, phrasing? Need that to go, not in at an angle. There we go. My arm's getting tired, you guys. Whew. 
because these are all going into the fans, they're not pre-cut threads. These are self-tapping or self-threading whole uh, screws. It's a lot of effort. Ugh. So the EKAO is best on the market, you say? I would say so. Uh, the Arctic Cooler 360 is really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if EK just like does a better job, or you know, spends does a little more engineering work on it, or doesn't compromise as much on it. I don't know. But theirs just seems to perform really, really well. Arctic is another one that I would recommend, though. Um, Fantex has one that's really expensive that's good. Asus has one that's really expensive that's good. I think Gigabytes is pretty good. It's also very expensive. Okay. Don't need this anymore. Well, look at that! We did it! Did I tighten down those top ones? I think I did. Don't need that either. Whew! Alright, let's put this back into the case and then we'll start on the next thing. After we loosen this up. How's it hanging? What's up, Nitro? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Time to hit the gym? What do you mean? Ugh. Just kidding. I don't, uh... I don't want to pay for a gym membership. Thank you. This guy is gonna slide back into place, I think. Hopefully. Come on. There we go. That worked. Um, but I can't even see the top. Um. Did pull one bolt out of there. There it is. Okay. Okay. It's not in place perfectly just yet. There it is. Okay. Fans secured. Ah! Don't do that. Okay. Just sweating the gonads. Uh, what? Wh why? Can I ask? Can I ask why you're quote unquote sweating the gonads, sir? I think these will fit back there. Just gonna give them a little, little bit of persuasion. Just a little bit. Um, lifting heavy ass PCs is your gym membership. Exactly. Yeah, right. Tech. If more people would just buy PCs, then like I would be in better shape. So, really, it's on you guys. This is really, this is really your guys' fault that I'm not in better shape. Hobo, thank you so much for the sub. Four months now. Coming in with a four-month sub. How do I? Come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Boom, you can't even see that there's freaking fan cable. All right, so we've got the side ones on. I think, I think I wanna put the motherboard in before I take this bottom guy out to put the bottom fans in. Okay, okay. You're not even on kick right now, sheesh. I know, I just, I think it just shows as a renewal on the like month anniversary, you know? Don't slide off. Does this thing just slide off? Oh, it does. Actually, I do kind of want that off. Get out of here. All right. Oh, we're already on top main. Cool. Kick was lagging for you, so you came here. Boo. Boo, kick. Boo. All right, let's get this guy installed. 
Um, I need to remove that or something? This slide underneath? Hold on. Hold on. Did that come off somehow? I need to take this piece off. Lift it up, and we'll check on the back side. Alright, I see a bolt there. Check, try that. Many years of PC experience. You have a build question. Many years of PC experience, but nice to hear from others. Alright, let's hear it. What you got? I may not be able to answer it, but I can try. like that's attached to anything anymore. Oh, it has RGB through it? Interesting. Can't see what's going on here. Interesting. Uh, I expect you to have this done in 30. Oh, geez. Good luck. <laughs> uh, thanks. I need to figure out what that is that's holding that in exactly. Don't know. Sound like a baby. All right. All right. Can you close Daddy's door, please? Okay. What is holding that on? I need a flashlight. my phone will have to do. I don't know where my little mini mag light is. I hope the 4090 would do the trick. Okay, oh sorry, sorry. Um, current build, 3950X, 64 gigs, 702, 49, I've gone from gaming a bit to a bit of graphics design after effects. RAM is 3200 megahertz. Now that should be upgraded. X570, after effects tends to be a hog. Um, a thread ripper for After Effects would probably be really solid, or you could go get like a 5950X for something that's a little bit faster than what you currently have. Um, or like you could get a modern like um, 13900K or something, because that has a ton of. Uh, okay. So there's a little screw there holding this thing in, but I don't understand how I would even get that out. Okay, so that's what it feels like when it's in place. Am I supposed to be able to take that screw out? Like, I don't, I don't get it. How in the heck? Sorry guys. I 
I need to take like this panel off to get that off. Is that what I need to do? Seems like a lot of work for this. Hold on. Let's take a look at the manual, see what it says. Now some of the motherboard would be able to stay. They're probably the least expensive part these days. Yeah, not exactly, but... GPU <laughs> support bracket, that's cool, that's cool. Remove motherboard cover. First thing I do is I slide this off, it says. Unplug first. Okay. There's zero information on the there it is. Oh my god, that was super scary. There we go. Okay. Sometimes you have to read the manual, chat. Sometimes you have to read the manual, okay? <laughs> Alright, so then that just goes back. And we'll pull you right back in. Cool. Alright. Progress. Lamau! 14th gen comes out this fall, I think. You might be building another <laughs> Spartacus another PC this soon. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, it's not like a full on new um, release though, from what I understand. Like some of it is gonna be just like refreshing the same chips. So we'll see how much of it, like if they actually do like a new flagship 13900K or 14900K model or something. Okay, motherboard is installed. So this is an EATX motherboard, which is why we needed that extra space. Um, all right, well, let's get our accessories out of here. My phone. Spartacus is on that yearly plan. He is, man. He is. That's why. That's why he gets the, uh, the partner discount, even though he's not a partner, because he he is, you know, very consistent in his his purchases, and he's helped me out a ton. So tell him I want the scraps. Wow, it even comes with like a glass cleaner. All right. All right, uh, let's just double check and make sure we get the right screws for the motherboard here. Um, here motherboard. With 9X motherboard screws. Okay, so somewhere in here. Uh, motherboard screws are the standard ones. What are those other ones for? HDDs, okay. All right. Standard screws for the motherboard. Got it. <clears throat> you getting the RE sticker on the glass? You know it. Everyone gets the RE sticker. Um, I'm out, Red. Good luck on the rest of the build. Hope you and the fam are well. Catch you next time. Hey, thank you so much, Patrick. I appreciate you stopping in. Um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, should, I swear to God, if they if they do a whole new chipset, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Like, just stick with it, or I guess, oh, sorry, new chipset is fine as long as it's not a new um, socket. If it's a new socket, I'll be dumbfounded. Intel just shooting themselves in the foot. That's one thing that I really like that AMD does is they actually like support. They'll have a, uh, a socket and then they'll support it for, you know, seven, eight years or whatever it was for AM4 before they finally called it quits. <clears throat> if there's a new socket, I'm gonna be upset, man. He's so dumb. All right, is this gonna fit down there? Are you gonna fit down there? Nope, I need my iFixit one for that. I might need, I might need my iFixit one with my extension to get down there.
Avery, what did I ask you to do? Thank you. Bro, my extension doesn't even work. I need like a super narrow screwdriver, I guess. What about this one from the uh, Asus? See the Spartacus emblem sticker on the glass. Um, I don't have that. I don't have that available. I could ask him for it though. I can get I can get the glass engraved pretty much overnight. So if we wanted to do that, I could definitely do that. All these screws are installed. We'll tighten them all down now. Preferably to the point where they're not decorative. is installed, secure, good to go there. Um, now let's get it back up. Ugh. Get it back up here and we'll figure out how to get this guy out of here, probably from underneath. Okay, so I lifted it up a little bit prematurely. This came from somewhere. I don't know where that just came from. Oh, it came from the, the thing. Okay. We're okay. Oh, where's my HD audio and stuff on this thing? It's on the bottom? Alright, we're gonna have to plug in all of our front panel I.O. before we, uh... before we can put those front fans on, or those bottom fans on. Okay. So... HD audio. There's IO down there. Um, don't know where else it would be. This thing come off. Oh, there's my HD audio. Down there. Oh, look at that, there's a little, like, tube for it down there. How do I get it down there? Is that what that's for? Seems like that's what it's for.
I don't know how any person with normal sized fingers would get get this through here. What a case! What's up, Gogzy? How you doing? Kremlin, what's up? Look out, the guns are out. That's right. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get out of this? Not very much room in there. Like there's there's literally like no room at all for my fingers to fit down here. Come on. Surely it fits. There we go. There we go. Don't call me Shirley. I mean, really don't, but... Alright. That is... That is nice. That's slick. Alright. What else we got here? What else we got here? USB 3? Uh, USB 3 right there. Okay, we will put back on. That doesn't look right. Maybe this way. There we go. That looks better. Okay. USB 3 right up here. Don't make those noises. Uh, uh. Okay, we're good. Gonna have to hire the kiddo. I know, right? Uh, this is the Fantex NV7. This is the case. All right, USB Gen 3.2 uh, is right there. I think we will sneak this guy from up here as well. Ooh, okay. can't go that way. Go this way. Cool. And then our both of our CPU power is gonna go here. And our motherboard power is gonna go right there. Um cool. Cool, 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 cool. What else we got in here? We've got our fan power stuff here. So we can connect connect our fan power in right now. Um Got pump two, got pump one. One of these is probably CPU fan one, CPU fan two. So we'll need pump one, CPU fan one, and then we'll have, these can go here. And then the bottom one, uh, hopefully, bottom fans can maybe go down at the bottom? Question mark? Here's our front front uh, panel. Oh yeah, yeah, they go down there. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, I'm gonna use that spot there. You guys tell I've never used either this case or these fans ever before in my life. <laughs> Why not the 7950X 3D? Because um, I believe this is better for gaming. Actually, for gaming, I think from what I've seen, the 7800X 3D is better than the 7950X 3D um, because all of the cores and stuff are on like a single die versus the 7950X and the 7900X 3D are actually split between two. Um, <clears throat> I just saw some pics of another build in that case. I know, dude, it's gonna look so good. Okay. We have all that stuff that's here plugged in besides RGB. Uh, oh, let's get our front panel, front panel connector in, I guess. You got the 7800X 3D? Yeah, it's a, it's a baller um, gaming CPU. I would have chosen between the, the 7800X 3D and this 13900K for, uh, 
for a gaming only build. Do I have a spot underneath? I do. That is just not super long, is it? I would have liked for this to be a little longer for this case. side over there. Alright. Power. Just need to get your PC optimized? Yeah, dude. Go uh, go hit up Trap, man. He'll do it for you. So I've got two SATA powers back here, and then my RGB connection for my fans, but I want to um, hook in the RGB for these fans to those fans so they're all operating as one, and then we'll have a couple fans back here. Alright. Let's get these bottom fans in. So now, now, I believe... We can lay this down, move this guy out of the way. Yo, what's up, Vicon? Kremlin, I'm doing good, how are you? USB 3 is an annoying connector. I 100% agree. Sorry, I'm like a little behind on reading some messages there. Okay. Oh, of course, this comes out of the other side. Like that. Okay. And this thing... Looks like it just slides. Hmm. Oh, there's one bolt on the back. That's what I'm seeing. One bolt back here. Why is there plastic in the way of this bolt, though? Fantex. I know it's technically a thumb screw, but they definitely tightened it too much. Bro, the motherboard alone is nuts, the kingpin? Yeah, dude. There we go. Okay. Fan holder is out. So we can lay oh, lift this back up. Okay. Also, this this case already, like without anything in it, weighed like 30 pounds. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is gonna sit in the case just like this. Um need more fans. Three more of these reverse fans. So the cool thing about these fans, if you guys haven't heard yet, um, is they have a reversed and a standard version so that no matter what, the inside of the case, you're seeing the pretty side of the fan rather than the frame of it. Super cool. Super, super cool. One. Get out of here. Two. And three. All right. And now that we know how these go together, it should be a lot faster. Take all the plastic off first. Even the white case is nice. Oh yeah, I haven't seen what these look like in white really. The the case that is. The price we pay for aesthetics. These are about the same price as the Lee and Lee fans, though. They're not really any different, so. Um, signal input corner. So. Um, I guess there's a channel back here. I might be able to run that through. It's not ideal. I think I'd rather run it through here. So if I went like this, turn these around this way, then you can run from here through this channel and then around to the back. I think we do that. All right, so need this. Yeah, it's really good. Like it's definitely a good deal for the quality of the product, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Wait, I shouldn't need this because I've already got that connector on the other side. Okay. Alright. So I need these two guys. That. That. 
Don't need that. Do need that. Probably need that. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. Corner, corner, corner. Alright, I'll just take the rest of this out. Alright. Let's get these guys connected first. Like this. That done. That done. Plug these guys in now. What's that? Paper thing. Okay. Yes. I'm so bad at getting that off there. Okay, I'll get these corners on. Okay, we've got all those corners on. Gotta connect these sides now. That's all connected in. Don't need those. Don't need that. And now we can bolt it in. Uh, but they perform better than the Lee and Lee fans. Uh, yeah, I haven't done enough research to know how much, what the performance difference is. I just know that these are like perfect for this build in this case, and I was like, I want to try them out. And Sparty said he wanted it to look good, so you know, it's good enough reason to to go with these. make sure my build runs good and smooth. Just handed out, out another 2k upgrading. Ooh. Yeah, that's a it's an expensive upgrade for sure. Yo, what's up, Jay Potter? Build that thing! That's right. That's what we're doing. Hey, Angel. How are you? On hell? Barn build PC. <laughs> I mean, this case is as big as a barn, right? You don't have to worry about airflow in this thing, that's for sure. You might have to worry about desk space a little bit. Good homie, the case looks like the owners. <laughs> Big and heavy. It's going to be unveiled in his new barn. Calling it here. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Sparty is building in a barn, isn't he? Is he gonna have that be his like streaming thing? Is that what he said?
Oh, interesting. That's cool. I kind of wanted to. Do, I kind of want to do something similar for like my PC building areas. Have like uh, a shop or something on the property to do all that in instead of an office in the house. Just have a, a bigger space so I can be more organized, not so spread out. Okay. Got all that. Cool. Got that off. To install this guy. Get off me. Get off me! Better since the baby's coming soon? Yeah, I assume that he's probably having to free up his room for the baby, maybe, or something? Or just be able to be quiet and stuff when the baby's sleeping. Because that's pretty important. Come on. I go in correctly. I think it's not quite installed correctly. There we go. That's better. All right. Ooh, your boy is sweating a little bit. It's a little toasty in here. Put all that away. Put those away. Okay. This guy. Stick right through here. Like so. What do you think about that? Don't love it. Don't love it. Not the worst. I don't know if it's gonna it reach back there. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? Is that gonna be too much of an eyesore? I mean, there's gonna be a GPU and stuff there. I don't know if there's really a better way to do it. The other option would be to run it back along here into, right into the back of the case right there. Not really a way to go down. Mm. I think it's okay. I don't think it's perfect. Could be, I feel like it could be a little bit better. Yeah, there's not really anywhere else to go though. The only other option would be to go straight back into there. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. I'll just do one side of it. So we go straight back into there. Huh, that looks good actually. We'll go with that. I think that looks good. Looks like you could even do a zip tie around here just to kind of hold it tight so it doesn't move around, but we're good there. And like this guy come around here, I'm gonna go right into that slot.
That oh, so good. Looking so good. These guys together. We can get our little RGB tension adapter thingy there. Got a bunch of RGB headers here. Careful not to push on the RAM at all. Boom. Done. Okay. Yo, what's up, MJ? Hey, MJ, did you fill out by chance uh, the custom build form on my website recently? Someone with the name of MJ filled out the custom build form and didn't put in their email address correctly. And now I have no way to contact them to tell them. But if it was you, then I could tell you right now. Doing a little cable management here before we get too much further. a DRGB controller? Oh, what? Where does it connect out to? I guess I'm connecting into it. That does not have... Not connected to the motherboard at all? Oh, here we go. Yes. On five volts, which is awesome. here as well. Not for now. Put this back. What's up, Tim? How we doing? All right, let's go. This guy attached as well. I should have one more RGB connector to attach. We get the AIO installed. Come on. Come on. Good There we go. Okay. That to the back as well. All right. And I'd be able to do a little bit more cable management in the back before we uh, get to the AIO.
I don't want to mess with too much though, because I want to uh, want to be able to incorporate all of the power cables in into the cable management as well. But we're just gonna kind of get this guys these guys going here. is already starting to look pretty well managed. Now we can add more to it. Um, Alright. We don't need more zip ties at the moment. Let's get our AIL installed. Okay. Get that out of here. I don't know what these little cover plates are for, but we don't need them. Can definitely install this GPU uh, support though. You need a lazy Susan. I would love one. I was actually thinking about that today, uh, of getting one, just for. Honestly, I was thinking about it more for like pictures and stuff, but for building, it would be really nice. You make a good point. I need a drink real quick. Hold on. Doing great, Red. How's the build going? It's going well. Um, you know, no hiccups, I would say, so far. Um, definitely some some knowledge gained from putting it together, but it's been it's gone pretty smooth, really. Lazy Susan would be really nice to have, especially on big builds like this. Uh, 120 fans, 120 millimeters. So this holds four 120s along the side, three along the bottom, two on the back, and three on the top. Um, yeah, once we get the AIO in, we'll install the fans on their exhaust. Now at that point, all we really need to do is make sure we can get the uh, GPU support in and put the GPU in. Wire it all up. Okay. Yeah, why is there a random piece of plastic stuck to my finger? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So we should have plenty of room either direction for this guy. Um, I'm thinking we go Probably this way. Like that. I think I can put this fascia on in multi directions. Gosh, so much freaking protective plastic on this EK water block. So I think I could put this in any orientation. Yeah. So I think what we could do here, put it like this. And then we can have it come down like that. Just like so. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, so if that's towards the back. Ah! Don't fall off. So. That's facing the back when I put it this way. Cables on these guys need to face that direction. Like that. Like that. It's gonna sound like an airplane taking off? Hopefully not. I'm sure we can tune the fans down a little bit. There'll be plenty of airflow even with the fans on, you know, a lower speed.
thing is going to have, yeah, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, 12 fans on this thing. And we didn't even double stack the, the AIO, which we could have if we wanted to. Like, there's more than enough room to double stack the AIO, do like a push pull conf config on it. Okay. And then here is our bolts from EK. There. Okay. Uh, when I came home during COVID, my work PC actually sounded like an airplane when I would uh, restart it. It would take 20 minutes from shutting down when I could log back in. My boss always blame me for trying to scam time. I bet you your, uh, your uh, cooling system was probably failing on your laptop. Was it a laptop or a, a desktop? Thing was probably dirty as heck and struggling to be able to do anything. It was like an 18 year old desktop. Oh my gosh. No. Well, yeah, you can't expect me to get modern work done with super old computer. It's just not how it works. How you doing, Shane? good still amazed at the size of this dude me too i didn't really know like this is the first time i've built with this case so i didn't really know what to expect in terms of like how big the case was going to be like i knew it was going to be kind of big but i didn't really expect it to be this big so yeah hopefully sparty's building himself a nice big desk in his barn. This thing is massive. Or you can do what I did, and I built myself a little stand and put my PCs, you know, on a stand on the floor. So my PCs sit about six inches off the floor. So did he just send you the list of how he wanted to build? No, he comes to me and he says, I want the best of the best. Well, really, I mean, he goes, he goes, all right, I'm looking, I'm, I'm wanting to get a new build soon. You know me, best of the best, let me know. And then I put together a build list. I'll usually consult with Trap on, you know, if there's anything like brand new coming out that would be really good. And his thoughts, cause he's, you know, He's doing optimizing stuff all the time, so he, he really has a good feel for what's like the absolute best. And then um, I'll put together a build list, send it over to him, and that's that. You know, sometimes we'll make adjustments, sometimes we won't. Come on. There. This guy. Yeah, so mostly I pick it out. What's the trap's prices like? Uh, for like a standard optimization, if you're going directly through him, I think it's like 175. 
and that's like he'll spend a couple hours on your PC, get everything like absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, I think it's like 175. Um, if you do it through like one of my builds, you save like 25 bucks or so. Touch anything. Thermal paste. Need to get out the bolts for tightening those down for the e e k a l the e i e i o. There and here. Um, I'm not sure. It sounded more like he was planning on um, having his old PC be like a backup for gaming. So like he might transfer his streaming stuff onto it too in case, just in case. But like it sounded like it would be a backup for gaming, like in case, you know, something happens to this one for whatever reason. Like if something just happens to go down and he needs to get it, needs to get it worked on or whatever. Um, then he'll just have another one ready to go. Because he's already got a baller um, stream PC, because it's the original game PC that I built in with like a 5950X and a um, 3090. I built him that one like about two years ago. Or a year and a half ago, or something like that. This guy is done, ready to go. All right, we're gonna have to, definitely gonna have to lower this down. gaming PC right now is a 5800X 3D with a 4090. I'm bumping into you. Cables on the end of the fans? This guy's in the way. Dude, no way those things are too thick. Fit back there. A bit stressful. I would like to upgrade, just don't know yet. I'm still happy with the performance. What do you got in yours right now, Justin? Almost dropped my screwdriver. I'm in bed. I also think I just cross throw that a little bit. It's great. It's pretty great. Why are these screws not wanting to go in? I feel like you could almost climb in this box. 
Pretty, pretty well could, man. Pretty well could. How you doing, bees? Got a 6800 XT with uh, 5800 X. Oh yeah, that's still a solid build. Well, this thing, the last one did this to me too. I wonder if they, I wonder if they like don't do a great job of uh, covering the holes when they paint or something. Let's get this one out of here. Cause I super cross threaded that one. Now it says. Uh, so he's on a 5800 X3 with a 4090 getting 200 FPS on Amazra. Yes, exactly. Yep, he's got seal, 14, 3600 RAM. Um, nice high end motherboard, lots of storage. Uh, all optimized by trap. A great he's got a great build right now but he said he wants uh wants the best of the best again so he knew who to call you good how are you i'm doing good i'm uh trying to hurry up on this thing i feel like i'm going super slow today i got a wife and i got a date tonight so i need to you know need to get on it a little bit We're meeting up with uh, another couple and like Less than an hour to go go on a date, so I gotta get I gotta get on it. I know. I know. I'm trying, bees. I'm trying. What are you up to today? This case is so tall. My screwdriver is almost hitting the the camera. I need to go to Trap, ask him his prices. You should, you really should. Tell him I sent you. I don't know if that actually gets you a discount or not, but. If nothing else, he'll thank me for sending you, so. No, he'll make me feel good. I don't get a kickback for sending him, for sending people to him though. That's for sure, if you're curious about that. It does not benefit me. Any way, shape, or form. Alright. Get these all bolted all the way down. You guys, we're like 90% of the way there. I know it doesn't feel like it, because the GPU's not in and stuff, and the power cables aren't in, but like, that's all gonna be super fast. It'd be kinda good if it did. Yeah, I mean, we do, I get a discount, we get a discount um, when people use his services on my PCs. So like, when you're buying my a PC for me, if you select the option to have Trap Tune it, you get a pretty good discount with that. But, but yeah, not if I refer, which is fine. I don't need to make money or anything off of referring people to Trap, that's fine. We're just here to help each other out. You want a new PC? Well, maybe you should get one. Maybe, maybe you should get one. All right. That case holds two. 2x120 millimeters in the back. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put those in too. Don't worry, we will. Put that on there. I, I have them here, see? Have no fear. Um, 
We're just kind of doing this in like a weird order because, um, no reason really. In the past, I paid like 200, 120, and they didn't come out the best. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, Trap is the best. He, like, um, I've been working with him for, uh, well over a year now. He's, you know, tuned my PCs multiple times, just, like, as a son of a... <clears throat> Where did that go? Stuck in there. There we go. There we go. I got it. Whoo! Okay. Trying to get out of here on time. Can't do that if this nonsense is going on. Drop something there. Oh, really, bees? You sure? You sure? Yeah, let's get this thing started, I think. I just don't want to put too much pressure on the, or too much stress on these uh, tubes, but I'm gonna have to move them a little bit. Okay. You guys are all started, so we we'll, might as well just tighten this guy down all the way first. Okay. You have a Ryzen 5600X. Ryzen 9? Or a Ryzen 5? 5600X is a 5, but... Um, the 5600X with the 4070Ti, 64 gigs of RAM, it runs horrible in COD, only gets 80 to 90 frames. What? Is that while you're streaming? Is this gonna be an AIO for 6K, just curious? Yes. Um, a lot of the, the, the reason why that the price is that high is because of the RAM and motherboard combo. So this, this is basically brand new RAM um, from G-Skill. Um, there's a couple of companies that are just starting to come out with it. So they're 24 gig kits and this one just out of the box XMPs to 8,000 mega transfers per second at cast latency 40, and Trap's gonna tune it down even further. And then, in order to get above the 7,600 mega transfers per second uh, speed, you need to have a two dim motherboard, and there's only a couple of them, and this is actually the cheaper option for a two dim motherboard at like 700 something dollars. So that's where a bunch of the cost comes in, because this RAM is like 300 bucks or 400 bucks. 300. Um, yeah, the motherboard is like 700. We've got a ton of storage. We've got two one terabyte um, SSDs that are Gen 5 SSDs. So those are um, running at 11,700 mega transfers, or sorry, 11,700 read speed. And then um, we've got another two terabyte Gen 4 SSD that's in there. Um, got a few hundred dollars in fans. This is a very, very high-end AIO. Uh, we've got a 4090, of course. We've got an expensive case, of course. Got a 1200 watt power supply um, and a 13900K. So, it's yeah, it's not so much. It's not so much like what you might think from like the the 4090 and the the CPU, but those those other things really, really add to the price. Uh, how many PCs have you built for Spark? Uh, this is my third. This is the third build for Mr. Spartacus. Or a, 
or Leonidas. It's obviously his real name. You guys didn't know that. You guys are you're slacking. His real name is Leonidas. Alright. There's that. This is gonna go to our pump. This Okay, I'm going as fast as I can, baby. Absolutely cooking as fast as I can, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Right. See this pressure I'm under, chat? Even my four-year-old's on my back about getting done. Yeah, and then I have to charge for labor, taxes, shipping, um, yeah, all that good stuff. As you can see, it's not an insignificant amount of labor. And it's not like I you don't really think about it, but hours spent talking to customers and stuff is also, I mean, it's not labor in the sense of like physical labor, but time spent on the business. That is also kind of, I mean, it's not really factored in in the sense of like, I don't increase my prices because of that, but like, you know, when you think about, oh, it only takes you two hours to put it together. It's like, well, yeah, I also put windows on it. I update everything. I make sure everything's running properly. Uh, I got to pack it up and ship it. I got to talk with customers all throughout the process. Um, a lot of times I have to help customers, like once stuff shows up, um, if they're new to computers, like they don't know necessarily how to uh, get get their games onto it, or whatever. Like, there's a lot of time. A lot, a lot, a lot of time. He's right in there. Two. Oh, that's good. Time is money. Time has always been money, right? For sure. Okay, that's all in there. Yo, what's up, Far Out? How we doing? Yeah, this is a sick PC. This is the best one. Best looking one, for sure. Even when I don't stream, it's only 90s. Oh, okay, so you have a 5900X. Interesting. That's, yeah, that feels low. Far Out, how we doing? Yeah, this is an absolute monster. Your most valuable asset is your time, and you gotta pay for it. It's true. Time, and in this business, expertise. Time and expertise, man. There's only so many people that know how to do this, and there's only so many people who know how to pick the right stuff so that it comes out right in the end. Okay. Um, I need <laughs> to get these CPU fans in there. Got this RGB connector here. Okay. And this fan connector to go into the fray down here. That. Ugh, my lazy Susan, where are you? Where's my lazy Susan? Alright, where'd that cable go? I just put it there. That is our CPU fan port. Stay in there. Okay. Uh, that won't be the type of customer I'm going to be. What do you mean? Oh, like not knowing what? Not knowing anything? Okay. <laughs> they, uh, I think they missed the plastic there. Okay. Oh, yeah, the other funny thing is, um, so it was pretty expensive. Like, I couldn't. Oh, what the heck? Uh, straight out of the box. Well, I'm really glad I had to order three of these. So it was, I couldn't find any of these, the normal ones. Um, 
for sale as singles. I could only find them as a trio. And so I bought a trio even though I only needed two. And thank God I did. Because that one is, that is royally effed. So, anybody want a fan? <laughs> it just happened. Oh my god. Nice fan, huh? <laughs> you can't make it up, man. You can't make that stuff up. Goodness. All right. <laughs> Pull that back off. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is wild. Alright, so I'm gonna pull this cage off now. <laughs> that just happened. Shake and bake. Alright, so these guys. Um. I go. This? Sound okay. Um, can't believe that. I'm awestruck. I'm awestruck at that, that man. That's wild. Yeah, they'll send me a replacement. I don't know what I would do with a single one of these. I, I, like literally, I, do, I just have one fan. But I had to buy, I had to buy a three pack instead of a instead of two individual ones because it was cheaper. Um, okay, so these are gonna go together like this. Can't even believe that. We call, we call swing and a miss from for the quality control folks. Magnetic, yes. See? Magnets. That one has me a little concerned too. When I spin it, it sounds fine, so it's probably okay. That's input. I'll leave that one there. That here. Um. Yeah, definitely have trap optimized your PC beforehand so you get the advantage of the um, one you get a better operating system and you get uh, a reduced price so it's worth it okay Get all my corners on there, I did. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure they'll take care of it. I'm just I'm just amazed that that ever made it through their quality control process, you know? I don't think that I don't think that you could blame that entirely on shipping. Unless they didn't, unless they also didn't do a proper job with uh, 
their their packaging for shipping, but it's also possible, I guess. We can go here. Yeah, we're gonna run this along the top. That. You might need to swap. You might need to swap this fan for these guys down to here. Make sure that this thing can reach, but we'll we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Super nice fan, right, bees? <laughs> And the rubber is coming up on this one. Yeah, they struggled with these ones. Goodness. Put it back in the wrong spot. Better operating system? Yeah. Um, a more lean version of Windows 11. Less bloatware and stuff running in the background. Um, it's from a... It's called Windows 11 Ghost, or like Spectre. What you would want to put on it. Yeah, they have to, I mean, like, you can cut out some of it, but yeah, it's, if you're not running that Windows, you're not going to quite get the full benefit of him optimizing it. Okay. Hands are in there. Put this cover plate back on the back. down over here. Not in the way of the power supply. Then I can tie that in with my other fans down here. Case is so big that you had have to invert the AIO pump. Yeah, uh, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit like normal. Okay. I think this thing's gonna get in the way of the power supply going in too. Hope not. All right. And let's see how far this guy will reach. I don't think it's going to reach far enough to, uh...
I think this is gonna reach far enough to uh, get plugged in anywhere but up top. Alright, well, let's do this. Unplug that one. Get out of there. Plug this one. Okay, I have that guy back here. Alright, this one to the bottom. Ruined all my cable management in the back. Put this into the top two. Lot there. And all of that, everything that's in is now plugged in. So, let's get our power supply in. Get some cables in. This is taking almost as long. This is taking as long as your PC took. Okay, definitely got a couple of those. I think we just have two. Yeah, we got two of those that we need. So we need that one. We need motherboard, CPU, don't need that. GPU, no. CPU, that's it. That's everything we need. Yes, but I feel there are more things to do for this build. I agree. There's a lot of things to do for this build, for sure. GPU power, good. GPU power, good. Other CPU power, good. Motherboard power, good. And SATA power. Billion, wow those specs, aren't those pretty crazy? Sorry, you guys can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm a little short on time. 
and kind of trying to get this thing done. gonna work with this uh, AIO coming out over here. I think it's just in the way of the power supply. Um, hmm. Alright. No sense crying over spilt milk here, but I'm gonna have to flip these fans, or I'm going to have to flip the, the fans on the radiator and then the whole radiator around, fortunately. Because where this, there's a connector for the, the, the fans on the radiator, or the AIO, and <clears throat> they are right in the way of where the power supply comes out. I don't plan on using this top-down camera anymore, so I'm just going to move it out of the way. Who knew a custom connector from UK would be such a pain in the butt? Technically, I could just flip the fans around, but they wouldn't look very good, so I won't be doing that. these around. That's... We can put them back. Thank you. 
Hey, Billy, thank you for the follow, by the way. Trying to go as fast as I can here, because I think at this point we're already going to be late for, for our date thing tonight, so just trying to get, get it done. some clothes for me, babe. PC build is definitely longer, yep. Told ya. Okay. So. I enjoy being the PC guru most of the time. Sometimes I just don't have time. Sometimes I don't have time for answering a bunch of questions, but if I have the time to answer questions, I'm always happy to do it. Definitely enjoy building them, that's for sure. Uh, your 1080p benchmarks and running 1440 Ultra settings. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I was running on, like, lower settings on 1080p. The fact that you're getting, like, just as good of FPS at 1440 on high settings, that's awesome. It's in straight. Afraid I wouldn't like 10A, so I'm glad I works well with 1440. Yeah, man, me too. All 
I'm just getting tired of sitting there tightening in a million screws. Uh oh. What's up, Richard? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you didn't see, I had to, um, I had to flip the AIO because um, the connector, the big old honkin' EK connector for the AIO was coming out right back in the back, and the power supply was right there. Like I wouldn't, I couldn't put the power supply in. So. Last screw. Navy's still trying to sucker me into the stream world. <laughs> you do you, man. There we go. You're saying uh-oh to something. But what? What are you saying uh-oh to? I don't need that. I need that kind of energy. Oh yeah, because I'm late, I know. I know, I'm late. So, has to come through here, because there's no other way around it. I didn't go through the pass through correctly. Now I'm just making stupid mistakes. It's always late, it's fine. Not technically late yet, I and mean, we are going to be late. Technically late yet. There we go. Alright. Finally put this thing in here. Nothing in the way. Doesn't want to stay in. Cool. True. Yeah, very different ladies. Yeah, because it's a date night. Not just me working all night. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Would have started earlier, but I couldn't. Hey, Avery. Can you ask mommy to go pick out some clothes for me? Right. You already picked out my date night clothes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Head of the game, shut. Head of the game.
Uh, not normally, but, uh, in this case, yes. In a normal instance, I would dress myself, but... Considering the fact that I haven't picked anything out yet, I'm still here working. Um, yes, we are deferring to her choices. For that. Backwards for normal. Okay. Motherboard power is in. CPU power and my other CPU cable. minutes away, so what do you think? Um, I don't know. Should I'll meet you guys there in the truck? Okay. Yeah, save, save Ant's home already and stuff. I mean, I think he gets off at 7. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Okay. That's all done and installed. Well, that power stuff is in. Um, we can get our GPU in. The top one is used, but whatever. I'm gonna take out more than what I think is necessary for this. Okay. It's 4090 in here. He will be matching my outfit. Oh gosh. Only on special occasions. Yeah, on this special occasion where I'm super late. And slow at PC building. MSI Supreme! Comes with a tiny mouse pad and everything. Make him wear something that would object. 
They would object to you, so no choice to wear it because he's so late. Wow. Wow. Not that late. Richard. There it is. I don't know how this GPU support is supposed to go in. Didn't install yet. Wait, where is it? Here it is. No idea. Zoom goes and uses a couple of the motherboard holes and then just clamps on it. So we will definitely install that eventually. Not right now. Okay. I got this GPU power situation. not long enough. Ta -da! Just like that. Spotty's PC was born. Cable management's not done. We're going to put the GPU support in later. Um, so we're going to fire it up for you guys right now. So that I can say it's done and we can go. <laughs> uh, it's a three slot. They make four slot cards. Oh, well, although that gigabyte, that gigabyte arrow 4080 was darn near a four slot card. My gosh, that thing was huge. Okay. Okie dokie. There's a lot of. There's a lot of cable management work to do, but um, we're going to go ahead and ignore that for the moment. Hi, puppy. Because this is the moment of truth.
All right. Who's ready for the initial power up? Yes, Richard's already ready. He's got those fire emojis preemptively in the chat. He knows the drill. All right, I want at least one other person with fire emojis in the chat. So I should find an ugly Christmas sweater for him to wear? Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. Does Sparky ever lurk? I don't know. I don't think he saw my message earlier. I don't know if he's streaming today, tonight, or if he's just busy. He responded to it. That's so cool! You guys can't tell me that that thing doesn't look amazing. Like, straight up baller. Like, look at all, look how good the fan, like, see all these fans, how they're all, they all look like they're meant to be facing that direction, even though these ones are intakes and these are exhaust. Prime. Don't worry, that's just memory training. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah, isn't that sweet, Richard? Why are you beeping at me? I don't know why, it, I don't know what it was beeping about. Okay, so, 13900K, 48 gigs of CL48000, that's gonna be tuned RAM. A 4090, 1200 watt power supply, uh, 7912 fans, uh, the best AIO on the market. Um, yeah. I mean, this is the PC. This this is this is the end game. This is the end goal. It doesn't get any better than this, right? I'm super jelly too, Richard. I'm really sad that I have to give this Spartacus, and I don't get to keep it. All right. Um, any last minute questions before I have to end the stream? and literally run, maybe go jump in the shower for a hot second, and then get ready for date night. Thoughts, feelings, weeping tears of joy because it's so beautiful. I know, isn't it crazy, uh, Jackson? Such a nice looking PC, man. Go enjoy your day. Hey, thank you, Eric. All right. We're going to call it here. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. Uh, I know it was a little bit longer of a build stream than we're used to. A little little more um, almost swearing. A little less uh, a little less knowledgeable on the build just because there was a lot of components that I've never used before. But all in all, turned out pretty well. Redneck out. I'm gonna send y'all over to, uh, on Facebook, we're gonna go over to Enzo. He's a fellow, fellow redneck PC holder, so go over there and tell him how awesome the stream was, and then we'll find somebody on Kick as well. <laughs>